Uh, today we're going to talk about um, Clue. It's uh, a computer vision tool uh, that qualitatively evaluates web pages. Um, let's understand the the problem at hand before explaining this tool. Um, so uh, over the past years, uh, World Wide Web has become more and more complicated um, with the introduction of uh, new ways to develop uh, web pages. Um, this has increased the overall complexity um, of web pages. Uh, there has been a lot of research uh, that, has, that is trying to reduce the complexity um, of the World Wide Web to produce uh, pages that load faster. Um, there are so many solutions that are being produced for these. Uh, while there are metrics that quantitatively analyze these, so these could be things like speed index, uh, DOM complete, to check the page size or page load time. Um, there are no uh, qualitative metrics other than using human evaluators. Um, and using human evaluators is not only uh, does want, not only incurs uh, cost in terms of time and money. Uh, it is also not uniform across different uh, across different web solutions, and different user studies uh, conducted at uh, diff with different groups across different uh, uh, across different times can have their own added biases. Uh, in this paper, we uh, we propose a computer vision tool that. Uh, that assesses the quality of web pages, both in terms of the structure of the web page, giving uh, a structural similarity uh, score or QSS, uh, and uh, also assesses the functional similarity in a, in a functional similarity score uh, called uh, QFS. Um, both of these retain uh, check the retention of quality of the web page, uh, and so all of these. Complexity solutions, they have an original version of a web page and a simplified version of the web page. Uh, and our goal is to compare the original and the modified page to see how much of the structural similarity and functional similarity is kept intact. Um, now, when you when you talk about the structural similarity, there's a there, there are lots and lots of computer vision libraries and uh, similarity scores that uh, that exist out there. Uh, there's this basic question that why can we just not use them, right? Uh, because they're uh, because they're just there. Um, well, the answer is that uh, a lot of these are uh, a, a lot of a lot of these algorithms and solutions are based on uh, pixel to pixel comparison and not uh, are, are and, and and are not focused towards uh, extracting structure and comparing uh, things by structure. So one of the examples of these uh, these similarity indexes is um, OpenCV's structural similarity index. Um, just to go over why it, it doesn't make sense to use them, uh, let's see these two pages. So there's a reference page and a modified page. The only difference in these two pages is the the nav the, the removal of the navigation bar. Just by removing the navigation bar, everything in the page translates a few pixel. Uh, to the in, in the y direction, um, and and what what score do you think it would give if anyone in the audience can uh, can write in the chat uh, on a on maybe from a zero to one hundred percent or a scale of one to ten? Um, in any case, let's see let's see another example where we're comparing this web page with a completely white image. Um, what score would this give? Probably it should be something way lower than the similarity score of this. But uh, when you compare both of these, OpenCV gives it a score of 66%. And uh, the reason for that is uh, just how, uh, just the density of white in the page is it's so high that uh, uh, it's it's so much it's 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 so much easier to say that a lot of uh, the web page is similar uh, in the in the content uh, similarity of uh, having white pixels and pixels closer to white. Um, so this is one of the reasons uh, current scores cannot cannot work perfectly. Um, so how do we do it uh, in the structural similarity? Uh, so here's a here's a rough structure of how. Um, how we break break it down. We have five different steps. 
from we start by taking screenshots, extract components, we match those components and compute the score. I'll go over all of these uh, one by one. Um, so uh, we generate screenshots. We take the screenshots uh, and all the screenshots by nature, they are three dimensional uh, images, two dimensions being the X and Y axes and the third dimension being the, the color space. Um, and uh, we want to get rid of additional data because we're going to take so many screenshots. Um, so we identify the background and we uh, store, uh, and if the background is identifiable, we store everything in the foreground um, as uh, ones and everything as a in the backgrounds as zeros uh, and make it a binary array. Uh, if we are unable to detect a solid colored background, we pass it through an adaptive thresholding filter. Um, and that in any case returns a two dimensional binary array. Um, once we have that, we uh, get islands of pixels, um, islands of black pixels with, with, the back, with the white background. And all of these essentially are just separate components. We don't want these to be separate because we would want them to match and have less lesser number of components, but not uh, just one giant component over the entire page. So what we do is we dilate these components and make sure they're con they're connected with the with the closer by uh, closer by um, islands and make slightly larger islands so they're easier to compare. Um, we uh, then try to uh, match these components in the original uh, in the original uh, version of the web page uh, uh, and see if they're, they're they also exist in the the simplified version and and if they're in the simplified version uh, we give it a score of one. And if it's not in the simplified version, we only compare the region where it, uh, we, we, we use OpenCV's structural similarity index to, to only compare where that component was. And this gives us an approximation of how much match of that component exists. Um, and using that, uh, the QSS code is calculated as the uh, summed, uh, summed average of uh, the match found. Uh, uh, um, the area weighted uh, averaged of, um, uh, of, 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 of the components found. And the reason we use the area average is that some of the components might be so small. And if smaller components are not matched, we might not get uh, uh, so the smaller components might uh, add, uh, add, add, add a huge difference to the, uh, to the, to the overall score. So let's do a quick walkthrough. Um, we have a Wikipedia web page. So this is the original web page. We remove the background. We um, uh, uh, make all of the foreground pixels uh, uh, of, of, of black color. We dilate it to make sure that all of the components are um, uh, identified. We crop these components and we take them out of the original, original uh, three-dimensional image. And then we, uh, this is the simplified page, obviously slightly different. Um, so side by side, you can see that they're, they're mostly similar, but also uh, not, uh, not entirely similar. Um, uh, we match the components, the components that are found 100%, they're given the score of uh, one, and then partially uh, matched components are given a score of between zero and one. And then there are components that are not found and they're given the match of um, uh, score of zero. Uh, and the area average um, score will be the QSS uh, score for this. Similarly, we have a we have a functional uh, comparison. Uh, so for for this, we uh, see all of the event listeners in the web page. We uh, we replicate all of these events, go over every single of these events, take screenshots of everything that's happening before the event uh, of of the web page before the event and a web page after the event, um, and compare what's the change in them. Um, so for example, uh, here's uh, the website for WebMD. Uh, we trigger a hover event. We see uh, that, that this navigation thing pops up. How we detect this is that we subtract the two uh, images and this, this shows us um, the area that changed. Um, we use a bounding box to, to crop this and uh, only, uh, only the changes in this box will be Compared, uh, everything uh, will be uh, replicated in the in, in, in the modified page, uh, and this uh, everything inside this bounding box will be will be compared. 
Um, so the uh, for the scoring, so we have an interactivity board that triggers and captures all the um, all 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 all, the, uh, all that triggers all the events and captures the screenshots for all the events. Uh, we compare uh, obviously the the triggered change in original to the uh, modified page, but there's two ways of scoring. So we could do uh, clues QSS for scoring, and uh, but we could also do open CVs SSIM. Uh, uh, clues QSS is obviously more accurate and it takes longer. Uh, but open CVs uh, score is is um, is faster. Um, one reason that open CV score uh, is is better in QFS scoring is that these areas of change are really small, and uh, QSS uh, op open CV can tell if if it if if the region is somewhat similar. Um, uh, to evaluate this, we uh, gave this. Um, we made an evaluative tool uh, and gave users um, uh, a place where uh, two instances of Chrome would open. One would be the original page, one would be the modified page. Um, users will uh, were given questions like, uh, "What's how would you rate the the structural similarity in zero to hundred and functional similarity zero to 100? We see that uh, for ninety percent of the pages, participants give a score of greater than ninety percent. Whereas for the rest of the 10% of the pages, almost all with the exception of a few outliers have a score of greater than 80%. In comparison, Clue uh, shows more conservative scores where 75% of the pages have a score of greater than 90% um, and rest apart for two or three outliers score between 75 and 90%. Um, this highlights that Clue is less forgiving than humans, uh, evident by smooth and gradual increase of the scores. Um, so why does Clue have slightly lower scores than uh, humans, but a similar trend? Uh, the reason for that is that humans are by nature generally more forg forgiving, um, and humans also tend to skip minor uh, minor structural uh, missingness. Uh, so if if a small component is missing, humans might not even notice. Um, but Clue can be uh, I, can can be presented as a lower bound of the structural similarity and functional similarity uh, because it, uh, it it rarely any human uh, evaluator uh, scored anything below Clue's uh, Clue score. Um, so in conclusion, we have um, uh, we we have Clue. It's a it's it's uniform across different uh, different web solutions. You could, if if you're a researcher and you're developing one of these solutions, it's it's in your interest to use Clue um, and compare these to other solutions. Uh, if if um, uh, it's it's fast and accurate um, and uh, and it's and it's open source, so you could you could download it. You could uh, make few changes to it uh, depending on. Uh, depending on what your solution requires. Um, and it, the, the, the source code of it can be uh, accessed on GitHub. Um, uh, so that's the end of the presentations. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, just as a side note, um, our lab is hiring, uh, ha has a few openings. If you're interested, there's, there's a link uh, on the presentation. Um, you can also go to the lab's website and find relevant email addresses over there. Um, but yeah, if you have any any questions, please please let me know. Thank you, Warwick. Any questions regarding? Okay, uh, I may have a uh, like a, like a, uh, open uh, op questions. Uh, I need your suggestion. Say for example, uh, for the methodology. Say how. Say for example, if I am running an e-commerce website, I think for e-commerce applications, uh, uh, how do you see uh, the poten potential application of the uh, of the methodology to e-commerce uh, search item page and browse and all these scenarios? Do you see any potential hmm. applications over there? Yeah. For for e-commerce websites. Yes. Um, it's 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 I guess very similar to um, any other website per se. So uh, whenever these uh, these web web solutions are simplifying these web pages, let's say there's a script that's broken down and it's not showing a product carousel, or maybe it's not showing a 
not showing a slider. Um, so one, if, if, if those uh, things disappear, uh, the, the, the clues, uh, structural similarity index will penalize the score from there. If there are items there and they're not being opened, uh, then the functional similarity would, uh, would penalize the score. Um, and in any case, uh, the, the, for the original and simplified page, you can see uh, what things, uh, what were the things that, uh, that, that are not working in terms of structure or, or similarity. Similarly, if you're a web developer um, and you are simplifying your own website, you see that there are a lot of redundancies in the page, it takes way longer to load. So you would have an original version of the website, which is taking longer to load. And then you do apply some black box techniques and have a simplified page. You can also run Clue to see uh, that structurally and functionally uh, did the page remain intact. 